Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Peter here. Who would ever thought I will go ahead and make a video, but in case uh, it's been a while, first of all, since I made a video here on this specific channel, because I uh, back in the day I made videos in Star Wars Central. I made quite a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic videos there as well. But of course, here is where I started YouTube and uh, talked about SWOTOR a lot back in the day. And now uh, it's moving over to Broadsword Online. The key point, and everybody wants to know, is SWOTOR over? If you want to know the TLDR, nothing will happen. Nothing will change. It will be the same as it is. If you want to hear further what's happening and why and how things are going to go, then stay here. I will go ahead and explain everything to you guys, how things are gonna go with Star Wars The Old Republic now. So, uh, Keith went in and said, uh, announced basically that they are moving over to Broadsword. They, it was in Bioware for 12 years and uh, they did a lot of stuff, uh, like they just delivered our, apparently, according to Keith, our largest story update in months. I mean, I will let you guys say if it's large or not in the comment section below. I played it. I did not play the Flashpoint because I got bored of the 7.3 update. Um, and I'm not really playing the game as I was uh, five, six years ago. I only logged in and only done story content. So I went into super casual and I pretty much uninstalled the game. And still it is uninstalled. But let me tell you, as I played this game for like almost 11 years... What is going to go and what's going to happen with Star Wars The Old Republic? So, as you guys know, it will move on to Broadsword Online. Who the hell is Broadsword Online, first of all? I don't even know. Broadsword Online, here it is. Uh, they are a small team. I think it's 15 people. Uh, that they are keeping older MMOs alive. Okay? So they are keeping older MMOs alive. Uh, two games that they have are now free. Ultima Online and Dark Age of Camelot. So, I don't know any of those. Maybe some people will, or some people does know a lot more, but I don't. So, let's take a look at uh, Ultima. What does Ultima Online have? Um, visit the website, sure. So, let's take a look at Ultima Online. So, June 27th uh, is where they posted uh, listed little description, so you may have to look forward to. So, they updated this game. Uh, or, wait, uh, would you like to welcome everybody, uh, 7th of Casino, we will, okay, due to the large number of players that joined last time, okay, so there's quite a lot of people here, obviously this one also brought sword is also EA company, uh, so they're gonna do updates here, so let's take a look, uh, how many updates, publish notes, I'm guessing those are the updates, uh, let's take a look, when was the last update for this game, the last big one was Ch January 14, 2023, uh, I'm guessing these are the published notes, I'm guessing these are the patches, before then, uh, so 114, is 2022, September 28th, which is quite a big update. I mean, I don't know any stuff about Ultima Online, so maybe there's a big patch, maybe there's a small patch. I, I really don't know since I'm not playing. But as you see, they are. this is the forum or the hub. So they are doing an update here. This was posted today, actually. Uh, May 24th, maintenance. Uh, May 10, maintenance. Uh, game mechanics, uh, Happy Easter, okay, March 21st, counterfeit commodities, uh, sure, I guess rewards, maintenance, 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 forum access, maintenance, so not much happened with this update, or not, not much happening with uh, Ultima Online, happy anniversary, so I guess the last patch, as uh, it's set here, uh, the last patch was January 14, 2023. We are in June and they are starting to deliver an update. So they had done it in six months. Keep in mind that six months that they are started doing an update. But Ultima Online is an older game. I don't know how old it is. Tw 20 years or, or maybe 15. I don't know. 
super older MMO. Let's take a look at uh, the other one, Dark Age of Camelot. What Dark Age of Camelot can uh, Camelot Camelot can offer. So this one posted June twentieth. Uh, Calendonia dates. So event, mini event announcement was on June sixteenth. June 14, downtime server, June 12, downtime server, and patch uh, uh, notes, uh, Paragon update, oh, this is test server in May, uh, 2023 May flower, April server again, April weekend, whatever, spring presentation, so I'm guessing these are the patch notes, or is that patch notes? Like, ah, there it is, proper patch notes. Okay. Uh, oh, this is just... Wow, this is quite a few stuff. Oh, the, the, the one that I saw. Oh, wow. So this is a, a proper patch, 2023, and this one, 2021. Oh, for two years, they not done a proper patch. Or maybe they done events, but not done a proper batch. They they just done it one now, two years after. So why am why am I talking about this? Why am I looking through uh, Dark Age of Camelot and uh, and the and the Ultima Online? Because Star Wars: The Old Republic is doing the same. If you're not believing me, look at the patch notes. If you're talking about Star Wars The Old Republic then and Star Wars The Old Republic now, they are in currently the same state as the other two, kinda. I mean, two-year update for Dark Age of Camelot. Okay, that's nuts, but, but the other one does receive updates. So if you're looking through the patch notes here, uh, let's go with 7.0. That's when everything was, was scratched up and that's when I was close to finish. So that was last year, Legacy of the Sith, in February 15th, when we got... A very disappointing expansion. Everybody hated it, or not everybody. Most people hated it. Uh, they didn't like the combat, uh, the gear system, and a lot of other stuff. Sure, that was Galactic Season, which was freaking great. Uh, last season for PvP, as we know now. 10 year anniversary, legendary items, loadouts, improved player experience, combat style, increased level cap etc etc new planet manon which wasn't actually a planet it was just story planet and elam which uh, had the major bug where you cannot kill malgus so it came with a lot of bugs so that was in february then further on uh, i don't know if this is an update or not uh oh this is where they posted uh, about an issue that was uh that was a month and a half later, uh, almost a month, month and a half later, when they did, again, some bug fixes. Two months later, they did 7.0.2, where they put weapons in Outfitter and double XP, so they are extending the expansion. So that was two months later, uh, almost three months later, but let's just go with two months later, they did that. And then in August 2nd, when we got the first proper game update, which is digging deeper. So, the first proper update, or expansion, Legacy of the Sith in February. Six months later, digging deep, digging deeper. That was the proper update. I'm talking about proper updates here. So, R4 Anomaly, Manon ex, uh, extended and has daily, class balance, new tacticals, interpret, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the rest. So, six months that, they, that it was... To update the game properly or have get a proper update same with same with dark age of camelot uh, or same with ultima online every six or seven months they doing an update swotor is doing the same so that's why it's in a great position and that's why you you guys asking like is it gonna be at maintenance no because they are doing the same thing as those two games and if you think those two games are in maintenance then this one it is as well because if those two... Actually, let's take a look at numbers. So if I look at Swotor stream charts, Swotor currently has an average of 5,000 players. 6,000 playing three minutes ago. Not really a big deal, uh, but it's not bad either. July 2020 is when they got 18K. 18K. 
when the the what you call it happened 2022 february let's see 8k 2000 players came back the peak was 19 so there is like still 10k players 10 12 7 8 7 6 but when a legacy of the sit launched in february it was 19000 players in august there was 27 uh, or sorry in july 2020 there was 27k compared to this the last 30 days than this i mean you see how this obviously you cannot really tell this from steam because this is just only steam charts but Swotor has another launcher, and I don't know if it still has it on Origin. So there's still a lot of players there in that launcher as well. But I don't really know if Ultima Online and uh, Dark Age of Camelot has that. But uh, I'm just going to look through Dark Age of Camelot uh, uh, subscription. I already uh, looked up for that. Uh, is there a Steam charts? Charts? Uh, I don't know if it's on Steam or not. Population and player count. I I mean, I, I don't really believe this this kind of website. Zero players. So, sure, here it says around 3,000 players. I would say 5,000 players. But uh, if, you, if you go, like, look, rank 75. If we go with, like, uh, MMO population, since we are here, why the hell not? Top 20, MMOs, RuneScape, Old School, Path of Exile, Warframe, Destiny, Lost Ark, Guild Wars, Maple Story, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't know if I, where, where can I search it, but doesn't really matter. The population doesn't really matter, to be perfectly honest. The fact that remains the same is that at the end of the day, Star Wars The Old Republic doing the same updates scheduled as, as it is on the others. So it is in the in is it it is gonna be in the same position as they are. So every four to six months they are gonna go and do an update, and that's it. If you are fine with that, if you are completely fine with four to six months updates, then it's good. Then play the game, enjoy. If you don't, obviously you will leave. At the end of the day, if you think it's in maintenance mode or or not, don't you have other things to do in life to think about these like? If you think about if it's in maintenance mode or not maintenance mode, like you have other things to worry about in life instead of a video game being dead or or in maintenance mode or not, in my opinion. Uh, I just wanted to make this, uh, by the way, in video on my about my opinion that I I'm not playing the game because because it's it's dead or anything. I mean, I played it when it was again less players, but. I'm not playing the game because it become it became boring for me. It became really boring and and the story is is it become very linear and just not it, it's not for me anymore. I mean I played it for almost 11 years. So you guys should under like hope probably some people understand it, but you get the idea. If you find with broadsword of course by the way developers have already already have been said that they are working uh uh they are they are moving to broadsword so like there there are so many persons now coming in and and saying that uh that they are going to work on on broadsword which is good by the way for the other games as well because they can also might work for dark age of camelot ultima online and swotor or maybe they just gonna work on Swotor. Who knows? I don't think so. I think those 15, I think there was 15 developers. Now it's maybe gonna be 70 developers. Uh, because I don't think all of the Swotor developers will go to Broadsword. Uh, I think some of them will stay and work on Mass Effect and Dragon Age. But at the end of the day, uh, if you see here, like, this is where they comments. Will the Swotor development team moving out from Austin? No, they are already a remote team. Uh, which is weird. Uh, plan to changing a shift. Is it heading to maintenance mode? Again, it's up to you. Nothing will change. As, as Keith also said. Nothing will change when it comes to Star Wars The Old Republic and their update schedule as well. The update schedule still will be six four to six months if it's gonna be more than that then you can start worrying then you then you can start worry that oh okay 
they have 50 to 60 people working on this game, but putting an update, uh, even like 7.3 update, putting that is is probably going to be a challenge for them. But who knows? Maybe, maybe it's not going to be a challenge for them. I don't really know. Uh, I think the only persons that they know is the developers themselves, because uh, if you look at the Star Wars The Old Republic uh, team itself, it only had like core to 70 to 80 people. Uh, the rest of it were people who worked on Dragon Age and Mass Effect, and they couldn't work on those games because they needed the help uh, for Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, if you look at the credits, you know what I'm talking about. So it's been fun, by the way, uh, for for this to play and, and to have fun. But uh, overall, for me, it was over before it moved to Broadsword now. It's up to up to the people to decide if it's over or not because it's move on to another studio. I think personally nothing will happen. I think it will stay, as I said, the four to six months scheduling because if you look at the patch notes, they are already doing that. Uh, August 2nd, they put up the Digging Deeper. Six, uh, December 13th uh, is when they did uh, Showdown of Runic. Uh, then again... That was in December. Now, six months later, uh, they just did two weeks ago a patch, old wounds. The other ones were not really a patch. The only thing that you can consider a patch is 64 bit, but I mean, not much else had happened. And uh, you don't really see it as a general player. The only p thing that general players will see is story. And if something big will happen. But 64-bit, the DirectX 12, and whatever they're going to do, they're going to update the game, sure, and it's going to maybe look greater or not, but the casual player will not going to see that. The only thing that they will see is if there will be content there or not, if there will be things to farm in Galactic Seasons or not. And I think those stuff are still going to continue. Like, they have Galactic Seasons now that they can just update every three months or so, two, three months. Same with the PvP Seasons. They can just update two, three months. And then that's it. They can go ahead and carry on. Uh, they can still put Cartel Market items on because people will still buy that for real money. So EA was still going to get money at the end of the day. Uh, you can still sub to the game. You, nothing will change. So... At the end of the day, Star Wars The Old Republic will say, stay as it is. Uh, you can start worry if there will be seven or eight months and there is no patch. And there will be maybe one, one patch once a year. That's when you can start worry that it is going to maintenance mode, uh, surely. Until then, nothing will happen. Thanks, everybody, for watching this. Uh, this was, it's been, a, like I said, it's been a while since I've done this video. And this is most likely... Or maybe not, who knows, uh, my uh, last video about uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. So, yeah, what are your thoughts? Uh, let me know down in the comments, because I'm actually curious how uh, people will go ahead and react to it. But I, I think most people will not care, uh, in my opinion. I mean, you shouldn't. So, yeah, it, it was a fun journey. Uh, for me, I... Unless, like like I said, uh, Bioware, or not Bioware, sorry, Broadsword now, prove me wrong that you can guys revive this game. Because judging by how Keith said here that they delivered our largest story update in months, I mean, that not, doesn't really sound great. Uh, back to Planet Voss, which I already said in 2019, 2020, that they should reuse these planets. And I'm talking about Belsadis, uh, Illum, so many areas that you can just ex <coughs> extend, but you guys just done it now. And the content itself, for me, it wasn't really great, but I I get what you guys tried to do, but for me, it was kind of late. But again, 7.1, which uh, is coming in the end of summer, which is a new galactic season, that's all. 7.4, which is coming in the uh in the holidays so i mean judging by how how we look at it uh we are currently in june so probably in august you guys will getting the new season and then on uh on december again you will get a proper update and if you see that's what they done two years ago as well so if you look at it 6.0 on slot 6.1, 6.1, 6.2 uh, was a story here. New Flashpoint story update. That was during COVID, though. 
but they still done an amazing story here. One of the best story updates, in my opinion, that they ever done 6.2. <clears throat> but they not really, like 6.1 was in February, and then that was during COVID, and then uh, they did that uh, nine months later because they needed to move to remote and stuff. 6.2, 6.3 was in uh, April 27th, where they put the secrets on the Enclave. Uh, that was 6.3, and then there was no story update uh, until uh, Legacy of the Sith, which was, again, seven or eight months later. So, again, that's how they updated the, the game every four, five, six, seven months. So, yeah, congratulations. Now, Swotor is in the Broadsword. Uh, hope you guys will prove me wrong, and then there will be monthly updates, uh then you guys can do the same as you've done in the Knights of the Fallen Empire days. Like, an, uh, every month and a half, you guys updating the game with uh, small changes, with stories. Now you guys can do a lot of stuff. Uh, because now there is... Uh, that You guys don't really need voice acting anymore. You can go ahead and generate AI, and you don't really need the voice acting anymore. You can just go ahead and, and generate the voice acting. Uh... A friend of mine showed me a, a, a great one. Anyway, uh, that was it. And that was the Swoto journey for me. I'm not quitting because they moved to Broadsword. Because who knows, maybe I will return. If they if they prove me wrong and if, if, I don't know, a year and a half later I'm checking back in and they've done tremendously good stuff, then who knows, maybe I will check back in and see how things are. And maybe I will make another video about it. So yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody uh, for listening through this little. It wasn't a rant. It was just my opinions shared. And also, I want to hear yours. Uh, if there are still uh, people gonna go ahead and watch this, because who knows? Take care of yourselves. Have a lovely day. Peace.